Nestled in the sand dunes of Bilgala Beach, this 9,400-square-foot family home is located on the northern coast of Sydney, Australia. Passing through palm trees and Norfolk pines, the site's entrance leads through the solid volumes of the home's main and guest wings. Upon approaching the front door, the view opens up to the sand dune and beach beyond. Responding to the beachfront environment of its headland site, the home is designed to withstand Australia's dramatic climate conditions, where harsh sunlight, high winds, and flooding are common. The structure is set on concrete piles, allowing sand and water to move in and out beneath the building. At the same time, the design allows the family to connect with the natural environment, with shaded retractable window walls that merge inside with the outside and provide passive ventilation. An interior courtyard brings filtered daylight into the core of the home, where a central water feature helps to cool the air. The color of the home's board-formed concrete walls references the color of the local sands, relating the architecture to its site and helping it merge with the natural condition of the headlands as it weathers over time. Situated around 35 kilometers north of Sydney's central business district, the 873-square-meter house nestles into sand dunes overlooking the beach and the ocean. The property features a self-contained penthouse-like wing for the permanent residents that can easily be opened up to the rest of the house when children and grandchildren come to visit. The design responds to its setting on a headland that is exposed to harsh sunlight, high winds and flooding. The structure is raised above the dunes on concrete piles that allow water to pass underneath, while the retractable window screens allow the house to be sealed off in inclement weather. The house attempts to address the varied climatic conditions of Australia in the best way, allowing the owners to open or close it to the beachfront as the weather changes, said architect Tom Kundig. A driveway that passes between palm trees and Norfolk pines leads towards an entrance set into a robust, board-marked concrete perimeter wall. The entrance gate connects to a staircase leading between the house's main bedroom wing and guest wing. The concrete surfaces of these blocks reference the tone of the local sand and help the building to blend in with its natural setting. A glazed front door provides a view straight through the building toward the ocean. The entrance leads directly into an open-plan kitchen, dining and living area lined with glazing on three sides, sliding doors can be retracted to connect this space with the garden. On the opposite side, sliding glazed panels lining an interior courtyard and pool allow cooling breezes to naturally ventilate the interior. A separate guest wing on the main level of the house accommodates four bedrooms, along with a children's playroom and a study. The entirety of the upper level is occupied by the main bedroom suite, which includes a walk-in wardrobe, a reading room, and a bathroom connected to a large balcony. Sliding doors lining the reading room, bedroom and bathroom can be opened to connect these spaces with the outdoors, while a bridge leads from the reading area to a terrace overlooking the beach, the folding slatted screens that provide solar shading to the glazed elevations can be opened using a patented hinge system developed in-house by engineer Phil Turner. The house's interior features a simple palette of pale timber and dark cabinetry, alongside textural concrete walls and floors. Externally, the concrete and blackened metal is softened by planting, including green roofs and a bamboo garden.
It is important to remember that home is not just a place to live, but also a place where we can gather with family and loved ones. Therefore, it is important to choose a home design that suits your needs and lifestyle. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our latest videos. See you in the next video.